Hello, welcome to Mormont. Uh, this video I want to show you a little bit about this weed right here. It's called Bishop's Weed and it's very, very invasive. We've had it on several areas of our property and um, I've tried to remove it unsuccessfully and I've also had some success with it. Um, so I wanted to share some of the things that I've learned about it. Here's what it looks like. It has these three leaves come to a stem. Sometimes they get really big. They do have white flowers in the spring that grow really tall, but right now it doesn't have any flowers. Um, when you pull them out, they have this kind of whitish, yellowish root. So this one's been pulled out, but these roots can go super deep. Here's what they look like right here too. So the problem with these weeds is it's so invasive that if you pull them out and you leave any of this root, even just a little piece, they will grow back. So this area here has been cleared, but if you look, there's several places where I must have missed a piece, right there, and it's grown back. So you really have to try and get the whole root. If you dig down, you can see that piece. I'll, I'll have to get a, a tool to use to get that out. But, um, so from experience, what I've learned is you really have to get the whole root. I mean, you could probably treat this with chemicals, but I'm going to be growing food here in this area, and I don't want to use any chemicals. So organically, what I have found is using a couple different tools. I use this little rake, just kind of pull some of the soil to loosen it. And then I use a shovel, little shovel, and kind of loosen even more. This is very clay right here. I find that in the clay soil, the roots are even stronger. And then once I loosen it up, see, I can pull that out. See how long that root is? I get even longer. So once I get that out, and throw it away. Here's another area you can see I have these rocks here to create a border and there's some more of the bishop's weed. This was all, this whole area was filled with it and this is one of the areas where I did not do a good as, as good of a job as getting all the roots out and some of them have grown back. So when I see something like this or these here which may be growing even from under the ground this one definitely is not. I know that a piece of the root has been left and I try and just get my little shovel in here and dig down so I can find the source. So this wasn't even that much of a root. This one has a little bit but hopefully I've gotten it and now it won't grow back anymore. I have another area up here where the strawberries are planted. This one still has some of it growing, but for the most part, they're not coming back because this one I, sorry, had my finger there from it. This one, I pulled them and then uh, over the winter, I had some leaves and cardboard and stuff over here to try and get rid of a lot of the roots. So, um, like I said, I'm sure there's chemicals and things that could help you get rid of this, but I choose not to use those because I'm trying to grow food and do use organic practices. Um, it is a lot of work, but I try and just do a little bit here and there. My plan for the area, the first area that I showed you is I'm going to pull as many as I can and then I'm going to put some landscape fabric with some wood chips on top for the rest of the fall and the, the winter. And in the spring, I'm gonna plant some low bush blueberries in that area, because it's a hillside. And I think that would be a nice cover. Um, originally, there was ivy there, and that bishop's weed completely killed the ivy because it just strangled it out. Um, so, you know, I just wanna make sure that I get rid of it the right way before I plant my blueberries. And, um, after I pull it out all out, I'm going to put a border like a solid rock border around also to try and prevent any of that bishop's weed from coming back because it's kind of 
all over the place. Um, good luck. I also encourage you to be sun wise when you're pulling these weeds and try and um, wear a hat, come out when it's uh, shaded in the morning or the evening. I've got my umbrella down there today too in the area that I'm working and uh, best of luck.